Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Arianna Rodini, Associate Director for Training Operations at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Centers, or FLETC. I am honored to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today. Please stand for the posting of colors by CBP Field Operations Academy Honor Guard, led by Supervisory CBP Officer Melissa Peralta, United States Customs and Border Protection, and for the singing of the national anthem by instructor Diamond Den Denham, Transportation Security Administration Academy, and for the invocation by Chaplain Jason Warren, Field Operations Academy, United States Customs and Border Protection.
Let us pray. Lord Almighty, God of all, we thank you for your presence. We ask for your comfort and your healing. Be with us here today. Touch those who are hurting. May your grace and peace envelop them. Continue to protect everyone gathered here, our families and our coworkers. We pray a special blessing of guidance and protection over our local and national leaders. Thank you for the favor and grace you pour out on us every single day. In your holy name we pray, amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Instructor Dunham, for the beautiful rendition of our national anthem. To the CBP Honor Guard for posting of the colors, and to Chaplain Warren for the invocation. On behalf of Director Thomas Walters, Deputy Director Kai Munshi, the men and women of FLETSI and our partner organizations, I would like to welcome you to the 2023 FLETSI Graduates Memorial Day Ceremony. Today we are honored to have Alicia Meyer Turner, surviving wife of Brian W. Turner with us. Dr. Serena Liebengood, surviving wife of Howard C. Liebengood and John Liebengood, his brother with us. And also George and Rose Kaiser, parents of Jason Panitas. We are grateful to have Honorable Buddy Carter, United States Representative, Georgia, District 1, here today, along with staff from the offices of Georgia Senators Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff. Thank you for your support and being here today. Also, welcome to our honored guests who are joining us. The Fletzi Graduates Memorial recognizes those agents, deputies, and officers that have fallen in the line of duty and have graduated from one of Fletzi's basic training programs. Today's ceremony honors 17 Fletzi graduates who made the ultimate sacrifice in law enforcement service in the past year. During the ceremony, Fletzi will recognize these individuals and honor those graduates who died in the line of duty since Fletzi's creation in 1970. We have five agencies that tragically lost members of our law enforcement family. Those agencies are the Federal Bureau of Investigation Police, United States Capitol Police, United States Customs and Border Protection, United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Enforcement and Removal Operations, and the United States Immigrations and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigations. The 17 names inscribed for this year's memorial ceremony brings our fallen law enforcement heroes to a total of 326 names on our Fletzi Graduates Memorial. As we reflect today, I encourage you to remember our law enforcement officers and agents who gave everything to protect us, our country, and our freedom. We also extend our deepest sympathy to the survivor family members who are with us today as we honor and pay our respects to their loved ones. Also, as we take care of each other, let us continue to support the survivor families across our nation who we promised to never forget. Today we honor our fallen, but I would also like to recognize all of our Fletzi and partner organization staff who dedicate their lives to developing our future law enforcement Thank you for all you do. At this time, I would like to introduce FLETSI Director Thomas J. Walters. Director Thomas J. Walters is the sixth director of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Centers and leads the consortium of federal law enforcement organizations that prepare America's federal law enforcement professionals to perform their duties across the nation and around the globe. Director Walter's distinguished 47-year career in federal law enforcement includes senior leadership service in the United States Border Patrol and United States Customs and Border Protection. Ladies and gentlemen, Director Thomas J. Walters. Hello, everybody. We are here today, united in common company and in common cause, to reflect on those too many law enforcement professionals 
His commitment to serve and to protect others was, in every sense of the word, absolute. We here at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Centers are proud to stand with the law enforcement organizations represented here today, and with the family and the friends and colleagues of those officers whose lives were cut short. In their service to this nation, these officers lost everything. Everything they were, everything they might have become, all hopes, all dreams, all ambitions, every comfort that life has to offer, all of their futures. Many of us who witness this ceremony today have a personal connection with the souls whose names are on this memorial. Some of those honored souls were academy classmates of ours, or assigned to the same office, or the same unit, or were close friends, or were family members. But I think what brings this rush of emotion to us as we contemplate their fate is that we are them. We are bound to their fate by our own experience. The connective tissue that unites us with the honored souls represented here is that virtually all who have carried the badge have come to the edge of the valley of death more than once in situations that were so very, very similar to those that took the lives of our brother and sister officers. You know how capricious, arbitrary, and unpredictable is the line between life and death. When you dare to take a stand between the lawbreakers and the citizens you protect. The family and friends and colleagues of those we honor today, we recognize and appreciate that the loss you experienced is intensely personal. But you should also know that everyone who's ever carried the badge or supported the training of those officers appreciates and will always appreciate the infinite magnitude of the great gift that our brother and sister officers, your loved ones, have given to all of us. Thank you, Director Walters. Now I would like to introduce FLETC's Deputy Director, Kai Munchie, to the podium for remarks and the introduction of our keynote speaker. Kai Munchie was appointed Deputy Director of FLETC in November 2022. Deputy Director Munchie previously served as the Assistant Director for FLETC's Technical Training Operations Directorate after joining FLETC in 2017 as the Chief Security Officer. Previously, Deputy Director Munchie served as a special agent in the United States Secret Service and as a senior special agent with the Securities and Exchange Commission Office of Inspector General and the Department of Justice Office of Inspector General in Washington, D.C. Deputy Director Munchie is a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, where he served honorably in the enlisted and officer ranks. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Director Kai Munchie. Good morning. On behalf of Director Walters and the women and men of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center's family, including 123 partner organizations, thank you for joining us today. This ceremony honors 17 Fletzi graduates who made the ultimate sacrifice this past year, and 309 Fletzi graduates from previous years who also lost their lives in the line of duty. Each of their names inscribed on the granite walls outside this building. Congressman Carter, Representative, we appreciate you joining us, along with local community leaders, including County Manager and former FLETC Deputy Director Bill Fallon, and staff from the officers of Senators Ossoff and Warnock. Your presence here today demonstrates a commitment to not only FLETC, but the broader law enforcement community, and I appreciate that. Uh, we also recognize and appreciate S Sheriff Neil Jump, and Police Chief, Interim Police Chief O'Neill Jackson for joining us and for their continued partnership. Thank you, gentlemen. 
to our FLETC and partner organization instructors at all training delivery points and our operational support staff at all training delivery points. Thank you for your dedication to our critical mission of preparing America's federal law enforcement community to safeguard America's people, our property, and our institutions, and our values. Each of you serves as an example and sets the standard of excellence that every student who attends training observes and follows. Today we have over 4,000 students training. Our instructors are teaching them those critical skills that they need to not only survive, but to thrive in the field. But the law enforcement profession is not without risk. And it often comes with a heavy cost. Few of us who enter this profession, profession will finish our careers without experiencing and mourning the loss of a brother or sister. And every loss, a painful reminder of the importance of our jobs and our mission. So thank you, instructors and staff, for your dedication to duty and unwavering commitment to our students. And I want to pay special recognition to the families that are here, Alicia, Serena, John, Howie's brother, George and, and Rose. Thank you for being here with us today. We're thankful that you made the journey. And I'm especially appreciative and grateful of the time that we had together before this ceremony so I could learn more about your loved ones and their stories and things about their lives that I didn't know before. So I appreciate that. And to all of you and to the families of all of our fallen, we owe you a debt of gratitude, this nation that can never be repaid. But what we do offer you is our solemn vow never to forget. We honor the memories of your loved ones with the tradition of this ceremony. But we also honor them by ensuring that every visitor who passes through our gates starts their tour at those granite walls so they can read the names of your loved ones, hear their stories, and understand their sacrifice. But more importantly, we promise to never stop sharing those stories. The stories of your husbands and your wives, your sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, nieces, nephews, and best friends. Those granite walls outside that bear their names will withstand the test of time. And we promise so too that their legacies will stand the test of time. That is our vow to you and our promise. And that is not just our duty, that is our honor to do so. Your loved ones were also members of our law enforcement family. More than just co-workers and friends, they were family. And I hope you find some level of comfort. I pray that you find some level of comfort in knowing that you are and always will be part of that family. Your loved ones were also heroes. They exemplified the most fundamental and sacred American value of service above self. The path they chose as guardians of our nation's communities was noble. Their contributions were meaningful, and we are forever grateful for their service. So thank you for being here. It is now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Alejandro Mayorkas was sworn in as Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security by President Biden on February 2nd of 2021. Secretary Mayorkas is the first Latino and immigrant confirmed to serve as the Secretary of Homeland Security. He has led a distinguished 30-year career as a law enforcement official and a nationally recognized lawyer in the private sector. Secretary Mayorkas received his bachelor's degree with distinction from the University of California at Berkeley and a law degree from Leola Law School. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Mayorkas. Right now, in cities and towns across the nation and around the world, Graduates of our federal law enforcement training centers are bravely serving our country, conducting investigations, enforcing our laws, and keeping our communities safe. Their noble service is the legacy of FLETC. We are all the grateful beneficiaries of it. A career in law enforcement involves the sacrifice of self. 
It is a calling that requires officers and agents to risk their own lives so that others can live theirs. Law enforcement officers and agents are heroes. Today, we honor and pay tribute to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, the 326 Fletzi graduates whose names are engraved on the Fletzi Graduates Memorial. Last year, 17 heroes lost their lives in the line of duty, and their names were added to the memorial just over one week ago. These officers and agents served across the federal government, some inside the Department of Homeland Security. They served in all three agencies of U.S. Customs and Border Protection, U.S. Border Patrol, Office of Field Operations, and Air and Marine Operations, and in two directorates of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Homeland Security Investigations, and Enforcement and Removal Operations. Some served outside the department with the U.S. Capitol Police and the Federal Bureau of Investigations Police. They were spouses, parents, brothers and sisters, daughters and sons, and community members. They were law enforcement officers and public servants. They represent the very best of service to country. The families of our heroes also sacrifice a great deal. Nobody serves alone. When one serves, the family serves. We offer our deepest appreciation and respect for the families of our fallen heroes, for they too have sacrificed so much in the service of the American people. Thank you to the law enforcement officers and public servants joining us today for everything you do to keep our communities safe and our nation strong. We will keep the memory of our fallen alive through the work we perform each and every day. It is both our duty and our honor to do so. Thank you. Thank you, Sen Secretary Mayorkas. Now I'd like to invite the Honorable Buddy Carter to the podium. Earl L. Buddy Carter is an experienced businessman, healthcare professional, and faithful public servant. For over 32 years, Buddy owned Carter's Pharmacy Incorporated, where South Georgia trusted him with those, their most valuable assets, their health, lives, and family. A committed public servant, Buddy previously served as the mayor of Pooler, Georgia, and the Georgia General Assembly, where he used his business experience to make government more efficient and responsive to the people. He currently serves in his fifth term in the U.S. House of Representatives and as a member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee and House Budget Committee. As a pharmacist serving in Congress, Buddy is dedicated to working towards <clears throat> a health care system that provides more choices, less costs, and better services. He also serves as Vice Chairman of the Communication and Technology Subcommittee, <clears throat> a lifelong resident of the First District. Buddy was born and raised in Port Wentworth, Georgia and is a proud graduate of Young Harris College in the University of Georgia, where he earned his Bachelor's of Science in Pharmacy. He is married to his college sweetheart, Amy. Buddy and Amy now reside in Pooler, Colorado, Pooler Georgia, excuse me, and have three sons, three daughters-in-law, and six grandchildren. And Buddy is a uh, huge supporter of federal law enforcement training centers. Well, thank you very much for having me today. I am honored and privileged to be here. I have the honor and privilege of representing the 1st Congressional District of Georgia. I tell people all the time, 435 districts in the United States, and I get to represent the very best one. And one of the reasons for that is because we are home to FLETSI, the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center here in Glencoe, Georgia. We are so proud, so proud of this facility and the work that it does, so proud of the graduates and seeing them all across the country. And I had the opportunity to do that. You know, I've been to the border in the eight years that I've served in Congress. I've been to the border six times. Being able to witness firsthand the work that the Customs and Border Patrol do, the work that they do down there under accentuating circumstances that no one should have to suffer through. As a member of Congress, I've also had the opportunity to witness the Capitol Police, and I want to thank them, those who are here today. You know, in our lives, there are people and places we remember. 
In my life, I remember January 6, 2021. I was in the house chamber when all that happened. It was one of the angriest and one of the saddest days of my life. I was angry for what was happening. Angry at the stupidity. I was sad at what was happening. Sad that it was happening to a place that I have so much respect for, so much love for. But I was thankful. I was thankful that the Capitol Police were there to offer the protection. I was thankful that they had come through a facility and training facility like Fletzy, whose motto is to protect and serve. And they did just that. This has had an impact on me, on, in my life, something that I will always remember. And the 17 names that we etch here on this monument here today it's much more than just names. These are people, people who gave the ultimate sacrifice to protect and to serve. And their legacy will live on. It will live on forever. It will live on in the values that are taught here at this facility. It will live on in the trainees who, who graduate from here and take those values with them. Thank you all for being here today, and thank you for honoring those who serve and protect. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you, Representative Carter. The following Fletzi and partner representatives will read the names of the fallen. The partner representatives here today have lost members of their law enforcement families over the past year. Assistant Director Chuck Danzer, Training Management Operations, Federal Law Enforcement Training Centers. Chief David O'Sutton, Federal Bureau of Investigation Police. Special Agent Justin P. Whitoff, United States Capitol Police. Director Brent Nelson, United States Customs and Border Protection, Air and Marine Operations Academy. Executive Director Christopher Holzer, United States Customs and Border Protection, Field Operations Academy. Acting Assistant Chief Patrol Agent Mark Rios, United States Customs and Border Protection, United States Border Patrol. Deportation Officer Adrian Salgado, Enforcement, Enforcement and Removal Operations, United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Division Chief Mark Zito, Homeland Security Investigations Academy. From the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, Eddie Benitez, John W. Boast III, John F. Capano, Conway C. LeBlue, Johnny A. Massengale, Todd W. McKeon, Kimberly D. Place, Scott Ragsdale, Ariel Rios, William C. Sheldon Jr., David E. Sullivan, Robert J. Williams, Stephen D. Willis. From the Bureau of Indian Affairs, Michael G. Miller, Defford Oyebe, Creighton T. Spencer. From the Bureau of Prisons, Osvaldo O. Alberati, Daniel J. Breyer, Robert F. Miller, Jose V. Rivera, Gary L. Rowe, D'Antonio H. Washington, Alfredo D. Williams, Eric J. Williams, Scott J. Williams, from the Department of Agriculture, Office of the Inspector General, Nelson R. Harmon, from the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Office of the Inspector General, Paul Brockstrom, 
from the Department of Justice, Office of the Inspector General, William Buddy Sentner III. From the Department of State, Diplomatic Security Service, Patrick J. Henry, Ronald A. LaRiviere, Daniel E. O'Connor, Edward J. Seitz, Stephen E. Sullivan. From the Department of Transportation, Office of the Inspector General, David J. Hofler. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, Arthur L. Cash, Thomas J. Devine, Ricky C. Finley, Richard Heath, Jr., Hector Jordan, George M. Montoya, William Ramos, Raymond Stosny, from the Environmental Protection Agency, David D. DeLitta, William T. Parr. From the Federal Bureau of Investigation Police, U. Tac Lewis Tao. From the Federal Protective Service, Robert P. Dana. Michael J. Doyle. William J. Martin. Ronald C. Sheffield. Lowry Ware Sr. Robert W. Usevitz. From the Immigration and Naturalization Service, Ernest Bowman, Tommy K. Chin, Robert F. Jenkins, Jr., Anthony S. Minetto, Lawrence B. Pierce, Juan G. Reyes Oriana. Robert M. Smith. From the Internal Revenue Service, David H. Fike, Julio D. La Rosa, Richard I. Lute, Jr., Alex Moran, Robert E. Rohrer, Howard R. Stuart Houston. From the Nuclear Security Administration Office of Secure Transportation, Christopher D. Youngberg. From the National Park Service, Margaret A. Anderson, Robert W. Barron, Chris Egel, Joseph D. Kolutsky, Robert E. Mon Jr., Steve R. Makuakani Jarrell, Duane P. McClure, Robert L. McGee, Daniel P. Madrid, Thomas P. O'Hara, Christopher Nickel, Julie A. Weir. From the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Douglas B. Cosina, Jerry W. Kramer, Thomas P. Marzilli. From the Pentagon Force Protection Agency, James M. Feltus III, George Gonzalez. From the Social Security Administration, Office of the Inspector General, St Stephen P. Shaw. From the Tennessee Valley Authority, Timothy P. Huckabee. 
from the Transportation Security Administration Federal Air Marshal Service, Sean Paul Hennessy. Keith R. Meisel, Michelle Paul. From the United States Air Force Office of Special Investigations, Ryan A. Balmer. Michael A. Cinco, Matthew J. Coglix, Daniel J. Kuhlmeyer, Chester J. McBride III, Nathan J. Schulheis, Peter W. Taub, Adriana M. Vorderbruggen, David A. Weger. From the United States Capitol Police, James T. Chapin, Jacob J. Chestnut, Christopher S. Eney, John M. Gibson, James A. Griffith, Clinton J. Holtz, Howard C. Liebengood, William F. Evans, Brian D. Sicknick. United States Customs Service, Renault R. Behai, Charles J. Bokinski, James A. Buckzell, David L. Crater, David E. Deloach, Gary P. Friedley, Paul D. Ice, Alan J. Clump, Richard M. Latham, Timothy C. McKagan, Claude A. Medeiros, Glenn R. Miles Sr., Pedro J. Rodriguez, George R. Sines, George J. Spencer, Carl R. Talafus, James D. Taylor, Manuel Zurita VII, United States Customs and Border Protection, Air and Marine Operations, Julio E. Barre, Christopher D. Carney, James S. Litz, Michael O. Maceda, Robert F. Smith, Clinton B. Thrasher, United States Customs and Border Protection, Office of Intelligence, Christopher T. Bacon, United States Customs and Border Protection, Office of Professional Responsibility, Robert Allen Mayer, Jr. United States Customs and Border Protection, Office of Field Operations. Troy A. Adkins. Jorge A. Arias. Andrew Bouchard. Carlo Kayabiab. Yokimia L. Conyers. Jeffrey P. Dela Cruz. Bruce R. Eckhoff. Raul De La Fuente. Victor Donate. Ruben Fascio, Beverly Good, Gennaro Guerrero, Domingo Yasso III, Matthew L. Lyons, Kenneth N. E. McCollum, Richard G. McCoy, Carlos C. Mendoza, Alfonso Marietta, Cody A. Olofsson, Omar E. Palmer, Monica J. Riola, Richard Rios, Crispin San Jose, Jose A. Santana, Lucas Sacedo, David B. Saavedra, Byron Shields, Cesar Sabonga, Eric J. Skelton, Brian L. Vogel, Ching Kok Yan,
United States Customs and Border Protection, United States Border Patrol. Edgardo Acosta Feliciano, Manuel A. Alvarez, Agustin Aguilar Jr., Luis A. Aguilar, Travis W. Attaway, Jose D. Barraza, Martin Barrios, Jefferson L. Barr, Eric N. Cabral, Leopoldo F. Cavazos Jr., Hector R. Clark, Charles F. Collins II, Daniel P. Cox, George B. DeBates, David R. Delaney, Jesus De La Osa, Jared C. Dittman, James R. Dominguez, Luis H. Dominguez, Donna M. Doss, Roberto J. Duran, James P. Epling, Alejandro Flores Banuelos, Michael V. Gallagher, Alexander I. Giannini, Richard Goldstein, David Gomez, Marco A. Gonzalez, Raul H. Gonzalez, Jr., Nicholas D. Greening, Eloy Hernandez, Catherine M. Hill, Robert M. Houghton, Alfredo M. Ibarra, Nicholas J. Ivey, Daniel M. James, Jr., John D. Keenan, Alexander Kerpnik, Javier G. Magdaleno, Josiah B. Mayhar, Miguel J. Maldonado, Jr., Rogelio Martinez, Salvador Martinez, Jr., Chad E. McBroom, John R. McCravey, Cruz C. McGuire, Isaac Morales, Johan S. Mordan, Jose A. Nava, Ramon Nevarez, Jr., Victor C. Ochoa, Walter C. Pantinson, Jason C. Panides, Luis O. Peña, Jr., Anibal Tony Perez, David B. Ramirez, Jeffrey Ramirez, Tyler R. Roblero, Susan L. Rodriguez, Eduardo Rojas, Jr., Robert W. Rosas, Jr., Enrique J. Rositas, Jr., Daniel H. Salazar, Manuel Saucido, Jr., Norman Ray Salinas, Ricardo G. Salinas, Rafael G. Sanchez, Luis A. Santiago, Christopher Shane Simpkins, Stephen C. Starch, Stephen M. Sullivan, Brian A. Terry, David J. Torsher, Juan M. Uritia, Mark F. Van Doren, Aurelio E. Valencia, Freddy Vasquez, Javier Vega, Jr., David Villarreal, David N. Webb, Joseph R. White, Thomas J. Williams, Jeremy M. Wilson, Daryl J. Windhouse, Ricardo Zarate, John R. Zykes.
United States Fish and Wildlife Service, Thomas P. Colarty, Richard J. Wadagno, Douglas J. Morris, United States Forest Service, Stephen A. Bowman, Jason M. Crisp, Christine M. Fairbanks, Brent K. Jacobson, Michael R. Smith, Michael L. Staples, Christopher A. Upton, United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Enforcement and Removal Operations, Brian Pexon Beliso, Roberto C. Cantu, Lorenzo R. Gomez, William C. Hayes, Ronald H. Hunter, Bradley K. Cam, Danny K. Lautner, Jr., David E. Mize, Miguel A. Ortiz, Ronald R. Phillips, Juan Rojas, Brian W. Turner, Olympia Germain Turner, Rosa E. Vasquez, Rachel E. Vilmas. Homeland Security Investigations. Luis H. Aguirre. Peter C. Egan. Timothy A. Ensley. Bradley J. Harris. James D. Holdman, Jr. Dennis P. McCarthy. Jeremy Scott McGuire. Edward J. Smith. Robert T. Williams, Thomas M. Wischert, Jaime J. Zapata, David G. Wilhelm, United States Marshal Service, Bucky E. Burke, Patrick Thomas Carruthers, Robert S. Cheshire, Jr., William F. Deegan, Jr., Kenneth Doyle, Roy L. Frakes, Christopher D. Hill, Peter P. Hillman, Derek W. Hotzenpiller, Jared M. Keyworth, Norman D. Merkel, Betty Ann Pascarella, John B. Perry, Zacharias Toro, Jr., Josie Lamar Wells, Chase S. White, United States Mint, Ted M. Chenault, United States Park Police, Michael A. Bame, Hakeem A. Farthing, Ricardo M. Preston, United States Postal Service, Office of the Inspector General, Greg R. Boss, United States Secret Service, Donald A. Baycheck. Cynthia C. Brown, Richard T. Cleary, James S. Collins, Daniel M. Connolly, Julie Y. Cross, Scott E. Deaton, Hector L. Diaz, J. Clifford Dietrich, Miles Colin Johnson, Philip C. Labid, Donald R. Lennard, Mickey B. Maroney, Manuel J. Marrero Otero, Noel Rabagan, Donald W. Robinson, James M. Ryan, Christopher J. Smith, Stuart P. Watkins, and Alan G. Witcher. Please stand for the retiring of colors, followed by the benediction from Chaplain Warren.
Ladies and gentlemen, could you please rise for the benediction? Let us pray. God Almighty, as we honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, we thank you for their lives of service to their country. May their legacy live forever in our hearts. Through our difficult times, we thank you for your comfort and healing. We ask for your continued guidance and blessing over our lives. As we depart today, we ask that you guide the steps of everyone gathered here. Bless our leadership with your wisdom and discernment so that they may continue to lead us as we protect our country. In your holy name we pray, amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Chaplain Warren. A special thanks to all who planned and participated in today's ceremony. We close today's ceremony with a memorial video to honor and remember the 17 fallen whose end of watch came too soon, but whose names will be etched, echoed throughout the days and years to come by future Fletzi graduates, personnel, and visitors who pay tribute to the courageous and selfless actions of those inscribed on the Fletzi Graduates Memorial. We respectfully ask that following the video, we allow the survivor family members to depart first. Thank you for your continued support and for helping us to honor our fallen law enforcement heroes. Be well and stay safe. <laughs>